that is a 16 year old crashing an SUV after leading troopers on a wild chase. Investigators say that teen was coming all the way from Virginia to kill. Troopers caught up with him in St. John's County before he could get here and harm the parents of a 13 year old girl. Fox 35's Randy Hildreth is joining us live tonight. And Randy, police want this kid to stay behind bars. Exactly what you're saying, just as you listed the details of this wild and very chilling story. Ten state troopers were on the road yesterday looking for him. That's in addition to OPD also reaching out to the FBI and U.S. Marshals to try to track down the 16-year-old. He's in custody now, but investigators hope that he's not let out anytime soon based on the disturbing facts of this case. God has commanded me to kill you. I will end your life. Investigators say that was part of the chilling voicemail left for Orlando police by a 16 year old. He's now involved in an online sex crimes and attempted homicide investigation that spans multiple Florida counties and states. This kid is someone who concerns us tremendously. Orlando police say they were tipped off in March that the 16 year old from Virginia was receiving explicit pictures from a 13 year old in Orlando. Investigators say the 16 year old was upset when he was busted and started plotting, contacting the OPD officer who worked the case. I will end your life and you will go to hell. Investigators say he researched how to make pipe bombs, stole his parents SUV and started making the over 750 mile drive to Orlando. Find the 13 year old. He knew where she lived. He mentioned that if his her parents got in the way that he would harm them. He also mentioned that the intent was to find our detective and he tried to find where the detective lived and, and found a number of addresses for different people with the same last name. And his intent was to also harm the detective. OPD says the state troopers caught him driving into Florida yesterday. That roughly 10 mile chase topped 100 miles per hour. So he went ahead and executed the pit because we thought he was such a threat to society in general. Right now he's being held in the juvenile detention center in St. Johns County. Police are urging the state to keep him there longer than the 21 day minimum. Important it is to keep this in, for us, for this individual to stay in some sort of facility. Uh, we believe that he is an imminent threat, an imminent danger to the city of Orlando, its community, uh, wherever he is. And he also faces attempted homicide on a law enforcement uh, charge with that, which is considered a felony. Again, right now he's being held in St. John's County because that's where he was arrested. He also faces a number of other charges, including grand theft auto for stealing his parents' car. And he's also charged with driving without a valid license. Live in Orlando, Randy Hildreth, Fox 35 News.